good morning. So today I obviously am getting ready for work. Um, I thought I'd do another live. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to try to do morning lives to kind of set the intention for the day. I got my coffee right here. It's in my sunshine mug. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit. You see the inside of it? It's really yellow and then it's blue. So it's it's like a cup of sunshine in the morning. I love it. One of my favorite coffee mugs ever. And on the front of it, it says, be brave. And it's probably backwards for you guys. Sorry. But yeah, just I love it. I also have another coffee mug that I use. I call it my beehive mug. It is uh, handmade. And I got it at the art fair last year. So I am going to start doing my makeup, and I would like to just say a little disclaimer before I start. I am not a makeup guru. The way I do my makeup is not how I see those makeup gurus do their makeup. I just can't. So, like you see, like I got all these eyeshadows. Like, look, okay. So, I got this little thingy, and I got this little thingy, and foundation and cover-up, concealer, I don't know going on my face first. Y'all can laugh at me for my way I do my makeup. I call this, like it's this, this part I do, it's like my warrior paint. My hidden warrior paint. Can do anything I want. Cause I'm bad at this. My eyes are so dark. So that's why I do this. Just look like I've got no sleep. But I did. I got really good sleep last night. Little cat whisker things. Yeah. We're doing that. And then, I'm like a little red between my eyebrows. So I just do one of those little thingies. See, so yeah, then I just smear it all around. It's probably the very wrong way to do makeup, but that's okay. It gets the job done. If you have any makeup tips for me, I am happy to take them. Just so you know. And I always use the same color palette for my eyeshadow and stuff too. So. I don't know if y'all have any suggestion that would look good for my kind of face. That'd be cool. Like, I really want to do... Uh, pink, purple, and a little blue. But, I don't think blue would look good on me. Maybe I need to sneak it right a shade of blue. I don't know. But anyway, my intention for the day is to be a good team player for my teammates and then um, I like helping people so I like to make everyone's day I want to make as many people's day as possible I want to have good conversations I want to enjoy the company of my team. I think that's really important. Because if you have a good day at work, you're not going to go home and go, ugh. Right? You can go home and be like, wow, I had an amazing day at work. And that's really what I'm trying to do with, with this. Is I just want to have an amazing day at work every day. And you know, it's life, things things happen, and we don't always have an amazing day at work. But I can say that for the first time ever, this is the first job I've ever had, you know, besides my own business here, that I've just like, I really enjoy waking up and going in. Like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's really in alignment with who I am as a person. Because I get to, you know, volunteer with people and I get to work with awesome people. 
Hello, good morning. Say hello. I see somebody is watching. I'm doing my makeup. Don't. I'm not a makeup guru at all, so I do my makeup all wrong. So if you have any tips for me to do my makeup, if you do your makeup as well, please share because I just kind of throw it on my face and hope it goes well. So yeah. Setting the intention for the day. Remember that if <clears throat> you get overwhelmed during the day, um, there are some breathing exercises you can do. Um, a couple of my favorites are uh, the bee breath that has a real name that I can never pronounce, but it's basically you are humming and just making that vibration go through your head and like it goes through your whole body and you can do the mudra and you can go like this if that's okay for you or you can go like this hold your eyes closed so your your thumbs are like just resting on your ears you're not plugging your ears you're just resting them there you're going so and you do that for a few breaths and that really helps to like just make those intrusive scattery thoughts just kind of dissipate the other breath is um do like a what up surf dude thing and you breathe in and breathe out a couple of breaths and as you're breathing out, so what I've just done there is I took a deep breath and plugged one side of my nose, and then I let that breath out through that that nostril. That's my left nostril um, and then I inhaled again and then I plugged the other side with my pinky and uh, exhaled that breath I just took through my left nostril out my right nostril and inhaled again and do, you do that <clears throat> for a good number of breaths I think it's like seven, seven breaths and then um, sorry I am still waking up um, and that's supposed to help uh, connect the two sides of your brain. Um, and it's really calming as well. But I like the bee breath better, mostly because like it's hard for me to breathe through my nose. Uh, because allergies. And cats. I didn't have allergies like this until I was an adult. I think I always had the allergies, but I always grew up with animals. So I was like used to them. And I didn't have allergies like this. But yeah. So it's kind of. And as I'm doing my makeup, I'm just like. Today is going to be a good day. And as I'm drinking my coffee, it's going to be a, well, it's not sunshiny, but I am a sunshiny person, I like to think, so as I'm drinking my coffee, I'm saying it's going to be a nice sunshiny day. Coffee is life. I love coffee. So yeah. And then the colors that I use for my eyes. Pink and brown and that little creamy color right there. Yeah. You can tell I use that one the most. Blowing off my brush because that's what I do. Because I use the pink first, or last, so when I use it the next time, there's pink all over the brush. But I use the little creamy one first. And I put that right up there. See? And the colors that I wanted to use, the um, blue, purple, and pink, I think the pink would look pretty up here, and then like the purple right in there, and then like the blue on the eyelid, but not in 
the appropriate era, I don't think, to do that anymore, so. Grew up in the wrong, I was born, born in the wrong year. That's all I gotta say about that. Kind of was, actually, like, I love 80s music, and I'm a 90s baby. Love 80s music. Like, I'm 27, and my boyfriend is 38. That's just how it worked out. So, and I like a lot of the same things he likes, and it was really surprising to him. I was like, oh, I know this song. And he's like, you know this song? And I'm like, who doesn't know this song? People in my generation don't know that song. So yeah, I'm doing the pink, so I just did the, the creamy color on the ups, and now I'm doing the pinky color on my lids. <laughs> Drank my coffee too fast, now I've got morning hiccups. There is a little chipmunk. Okay, now I have to investigate. There was a little chipmunk, I'm sure. So the chipmunk likes to uh, visit frequently. But yeah, there was a little chipmunk over there that was making all sorts of little noise. I don't know if you heard it in the video, but like, I've got some pots on the outside of my window right over there. So yeah. The universe told me I'm not allowed to have raspberries, so I offered him the raspberries that I'm not supposed to have. I was very sad about that, but you know. If he's happy with the raspberries, that's all that matters. Yeah, now I've done the little pink, and now I'm gonna do the brown. So what are some intentions that you're going to be setting today? I'll ask that while I tell you some of the things that I am grateful for. Because that is part of setting good intentions for the day. I am grateful for Obviously, I'm grateful for my cats. And I am grateful for a very loving and understanding boyfriend. We've been through a lot together. And then, I'm also very grateful for my, my current jobs. Like this one, and then I really, really love my other job that I'm about to go to today. Betsy, hello, good morning! I think this is the first live you've been able to get to. And I see there's somebody else watching. Say hello. <clears throat> so yeah, I am getting ready for work and we are setting our daily intentions. My intentions so far is that I'm going to have an amazing day, be an awesome teammate, enjoy the company of my teammates, and we're doing that with a grateful heart and a grateful attitude. What am I grateful for? I am grateful for friendship and my awesome job that I'm about to go to. I am grateful for the awesome individuals that I work with because they are awesome. So what are some things that you're grateful for? What are some intentions that you're setting? We are going to see if I can do this right. Eyeliner is always messed up. Always! I think it's really funny that I decided to do these while I like get ready in the morning because I'm not a makeup guru. I just kind of throw it on my face. <laughs> so any makeup tips anybody has? I'll take them. <laughs> Alright, so. And I got one of these little liquid things, so hope, like to hopes it makes it easier. But like the tip already is like, oh yes, your interview is today, isn't it? Yes, 
sending Reiki and good juju, good vibes your way, you're going to get that job because you're going to rock that interview. Yes. Yes. It's always pow more powerful with more people to... So, yes. What time is your interview? I'll make sure to, like, keep an eye on the time. Line with shadow first. Cheat system? Well, the issue is I can't, like, get, like, the angle right like so this side will always be like perfect and this side will be up more or this side will be perfect and this side will be like down it's it's so weird 11 30 i will keep an eye on the time 11 30 and i will send extra good juju your way because yes i'm so excited for you Okay, so, so far, so good. Now it's a matter of, like, bringing it this way. Ugh. I got this. Maybe. There's so much concentration involved, I don't want to poke my eye out. As I poke my eye. This is why I don't do makeup tutorial videos, because I just suck at my makeup. Angle with the edge of your brow. I don't know how to do that. What do you mean angle with the edge of my brow? Did I do it right? I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. My, my thing is, is like, I wear glasses, so it just kind of like, it's like a mask. I wear glasses. And it's fine. And if anybody notices that it's all messed up, nobody says anything, so... It's fine. And that side's always easier because, like, I'm right handed. I'd be like, hold on. I spent seven bucks on this little pin thing, and this is like the third time I've used it, and it's already kind of dry. Is that how it's supposed to be? Like, I like. Do one of these numbers, is it going to like bring all the ink out? I have no idea. Yeah, see? That was, that was my thought. Not being able to see has its perks. You know. Okay, that kind of worked. Sweet. Sorry, I have coffee hiccups because this is my second cup of coffee. And I kind of just like downed that. That's thicker than this side, so we gotta see. And then I do that like the other side is thicker, it looks good, the other side looks good, but this side is definitely thinner than the other side. Well, if you mess it up too much or mess with it too much, it's just not gonna work. I just need you to be a little thicker, that's all. All right, so we've got some good intentions going for the day. Betsy's getting a job. Gonna work with some amazing coworkers today.
this this is my second cup of coffee that I'm like halfway done with so yeah yeah you end up with raccoon eyes I think I think this is fine I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna do the bottom now with the normal one I need a different liquid eyeliner. I used to use it all the time in high school. But I don't remember which one I got and I don't know how to buy makeup. I don't know how to buy makeup anymore. I didn't know how to buy makeup then. What am I? Oh my god, this makeup. My sister-in-law has a better understanding of makeup and how to use it and what to get than I do and she is going to be a freshman in high school next year or this coming year I don't know they're in summer so that kind of yeah this looks okay I was taught that if you only do it part way it makes your eyes look bigger and I like kind of have like squinty eyes so I just do it part way Sorry. Uh, yes, I would love it if you took me makeup shopping. And you know what I else I would love? If we lived in the same state, that'd be great. That would be fabulous. You don't want to move here, though. It's boring. Alright, so now we're doing final bit. The mascara. Boop, boop, boop. So remember your breathing exercises as you go on with today. Oh, I don't think you saw the breathing exercises. Did you see the breathing exercises, Betsy? Let me know. I'll do them again for you. And I know there's a delay in the comments, so you probably just told me if you saw my breathing exercises or not so give it a moment and i'm sure i'll see it in a minute because i just saw same and i assume you're talking about living in the same state so believe there is a delay which i don't know why did not see it. okay cool so there's two different breasts the one I call the bee breath, like a bumblebee breath, um, because it sounds like a bunch of buzzing. Um, and I like that one more than the other one, because the other one requires you to like plug one side of your nose. And I have trouble breathing through my nose. I'm going to do the, the nose one first. So you take your little what's up, surf's up, sign, hand thing. Yeah, basically your thumb's pointing out and your pinky's pointing out. Boom. And you take a few deep breaths. And then you're going to inhale. And plug your right nostril. And breathe out through that nostril. And then you're going to breathe in through that nostril. Plug that nostril and breathe out through your right nostril. And breathe in through your right nostril. Plug your right nostril and breathe out through your left nostril. Do that for several breaths and that helps to connect both sides of your brain. Um, and it also helps to calm you. The other breath that I really like is what I call the bee breath. There is a real name for it, but I say the name wrong every time. So, it's a humming. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's called naughty breath. The one I just did with the nose. Okay, so the other one is you're gonna hum like open throat, make sure that you can feel the vibration. So like when you, you're talking, you feel that vibration in your throat. 
when you do this humming, you're going to feel it in your head and in your chest. And you're going, mm. Now the mudras you can do, there's two different ones, depending on if you get claustrophobic or not. You put your thumbs here in your ears. Here, just press down slightly. You're not plugging your ears. You're just applying light pressure so that when you do hum, you know how, like, when you're a little kid and you were, like, you, you you did the humming or the talking while your ears were plugged and you could feel it like that's that's the idea it's like you're just gonna lightly press and then you can either you know go up here or you can do here and go hmm And that's a really good one if you have like really intrusive thoughts or you're just overthinking and that helps to just dissipate um, those thoughts so you can think more clearly. So yeah, those are, those are the different breaths. I don't know what time it is, so I'm hoping like I've got plenty of time. I need to leave at 9.30. So yeah. Just about done with my makeup, and then I gotta run and do my hair. So when I'm done with this, I'm probably hopping off the live. Anybody have any questions? Feel free to message me. I will get back to you as I can. Because I do work all day today. I do have a lunch break though, so if you message me before my lunch, I will definitely get back to you. Oh, it's raining. Yes, we have lots of rain lately. A lot of people are like tired of the rain. But I think rain is very cleansing. I mean, yes, I would love sunshine, but rain is cleansing. Just if that's on my brain. I'm going to be humming all day. Do that before your interview. Do the naughty breath as well before your interview. See how it goes. All right, my loves, have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, if you are having any moments of stress or anxiety, try those breaths. And then also um, start listing things off that you're grateful for in moments of stress. And then you're going to be attracting more things to be grateful for. So, have a great day.